You ever seen Old Boy? Korean film? No. Old Boy? No. I don't even know it. That doesn't even ring a bell. A lot of people say it's one of the greatest films of all time. Really? Yeah. Old Boy. Apparently it's going back in theaters in August. Directed by... I forget his name. Korean okay. Director, but Old he, Boy. Uh, and they're going to do a theatrical release? A re-release of... Of Old Boy. it's like... It's 20 year anniversary or something. Oh, like that. wow. How have I not heard of this? People love this film, man. Well, you know what? I hope. Well, it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. Because it's your. Yeah. Your, it's something you said. Exactly. Yeah. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Rexes, Corby. I'm not old boy. You no, know, you're an old boy. <laughs> follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to our Bruce Watson's Patreon. Follow yes. Follow subscribe and like button. Today we have a video. It's from Time. Time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping into the future. Time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping into the future again. Do, 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 do. Um, because they did a interview and the cover of the current Time magazine is the Pika Particle. It's true. Uh, and so they did a little, I think, interview with her. Great. Uh, on the Times website. Uh, it's not on Great. YouTube, so I'm having to record this on Twitter. Uh, so if I don't know what Twitter video is going to do here. Hopefully nothing weird. Charge him. Um, no, I don't have Twitter blue. So. Uh, here we go. And it's called uh, Depeka Patacon is bringing the world to Bollywood. Okay. It should actually be Indian cinema because she so was I, actually the presenter for RRR, which yeah. is not a Bollywood film. We'll get there. We will get there. Here we go. Growing up, my mother says that you never found me at ground level. I was always, you know, climbing on sofas and jumping off tables. And Sounds like Ashley. As a teenager, I think I was, I was naughty. <laughs> When I think back, I was like, okay, at least I had a personality, you know. So yeah, I think I was naughty, but <laughs> That's in awesome. an way. But I think the one constant was that I was always very sure of what I wanted for myself. Well, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> In March 2023, Deepika Padukone took to the biggest stage in the film industry as she introduced the live performance of Natu Natu, that year's Academy Award winner for Best Original Song. Thank you so much. Her debut at the awards solidified her status as a Bollywood icon and introduced the Indian cinema icon. She was already a Bollywood icon. Yeah, she didn't need the Oscars Indian to validate that. Today. The world is waking up to India beyond just the movies. But if I were to zoom out a bit, whether it's medicine, whether it's technology, whether it's innovation, the arts, music, it's India's moment. I asked Jai Deepika Han. to tell us which of her films she recommended to someone who's never watched a traditional Bollywood film Ooh. before. One movie that I'm in. <gasps> Good question. I'd recommend a movie called Piku. Hey, Piku! Ah. Us too. I know it's different from the perception that we Where she floored us with her thespianatic muscles. Yes, it's, it's very, very different from, you know, the perception that we have of song and dance and music and color. But it's truly a special, special movie. So yes, it is. And watching Piku. Agreed. Yeah. Deepika started her career as a pro badminton player. Following in the footsteps Wait. of her father and Wait. former badminton what? world champion, Prakash Padukone. <laughs> wow. I played professional sport, but even my time on the badminton court, I always knew that eventually I'd want what? to be a model. Eventually I want to be an actor. Can just I'm breeze. so glad you did that. You can't just breeze past that like you didn't say what you just said. A professional athlete. And, you know, you don't realize these values. You don't realize these things that you're learning silently you don't realize it while you're at it it's something i've realized much later on in life whether it's how to handle fame how to handle success how to handle failure how to be competitive but in the right spirit i mean there's so many things that i don't think i'd learn 
if I hadn't been an athlete. Self-care is also one of the things I really enjoy doing and exercise is very much a part of part of that routine and maybe it's to do with the fact that I was an athlete and I've always been sort of into physical fitness you know so whether I knew whether I need it for a movie or whether I need it for a brand shoot all of that is secondary for me it's always about how I feel yo I'm in the middle of my interview this is Renvir, isn't it? Interview in Mumbai. It's Renvir. We got a yep. surprise visitor <laughs> <laughs> from Padukone's other movie star, her, her husband Ranveer Singh. The question's about you. She was segueing into married life. Oh wow! What a cosmic uh, <laughs> uh, thing to have happen. Ask I'm me. Shooting, I'm shooting, uh, next door. Ask me now. Ask me now. Okay, sir, you've been married now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Four years? Four and a half years? Every five this year. Five years. Been together what? Ten years? Seven years? Yeah. Eleven years. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> I love them. I'm not ready for this. Yeah? I just came to say hi. <laughs> I just want to say to everyone that this is this is truly cosmic. He wasn't like we didn't plan for him to be here, but he is. I'll answer the question. Don't worry. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Softcore porn right there. It was. Um, so, what do you like to do for fun? Her husband. I mean, there's a lot of things I love eating. I'm a, I'm a huge foodie. I love eating. I just love oh, eating ah, South yes. Indian food. The part of, you know, the world that I come from. So, whether it's idlis and dosas and rasam and rice and even the typical Mangalorean food. If I really had to choose, I'm the kind of person and my mother always says this. She's like, you've not even finished breakfast. And apparently I was like this even when I was in school. Like, we've had dinner and I'm already like, Ma, what are we having for breakfast? Yeah, <laughs> yes, ma'am. Ma, what are we having for lunch? So I'm always thinking about food. <gasps> yep. What else? I mean, I love spending time, my husband and I. I I've married my best friend. You know, As you should. The fact that we're just so goofy with What is that video? <gasps> Feel like Why have I not seen that? My most vulnerable. Send it to me uh, now. My most clumsy, my most expressive. Yeah, we've known each other now ten years almost. So it's my happy place. Yeah. Oh, bummer. That yeah, could have been. Boy, that went fast. Fifteen more minutes. Oh, yeah, could have done a full. Hour. Mini series yeah. on her life. Um, I've been with my wife almost 15 years. That's awesome, by the way. Congratulations. Um, which would be coming up. So it's so we've been uh, we've been married how many? 10, 11? 11, 12, oh, 12 years. 10, 11 or 12 years. <laughs> 11 or 12 years this year. We've yeah. been married that long. Yeah. But then we've been together almost 15. So by the time it turns 18, I will have been with her as long as I lived with my parents. <laughs> that's that's weird to think about. And so, at that point, there will be a point very soon here where you'll be able to say you've spent more time on Earth living with her than without her. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Anyways, on to the uh, lovely, lovely Topeka Patagon. That yeah, was, that was a wonderful little moment. And I, one, one, just not to talk about Ranveer, but you know, I love to. Um, he just comes in, and he wasn't there to take over. He was like, no, of course, he's not. like, I just wanted to. Just, I just yeah. wanted to say hi. Yeah. I didn't <laughs> realize is, you were doing what you're is, doing. This is your thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he's like, yeah. he's always such in supportive of her and yeah. not there to overshadow or do anything like that. Anyways. No, and, and as, as, you know, as valuable as Oscar recognition is, because there is a value to it, that didn't solidify her as anything. The Oscars are blessed to have had her be there. And that just opened up a door for more people to know about who she is. And yep. they're not knowing about her. And now knowing about her doesn't make her any more important or influential because she's already far more important and influential than the majority of actors on the planet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she's she's in the upper echelon of uh, influential. In terms of influence, in terms of actors and celebrities. Your following, in yeah. terms of what people listen to to you for yeah i can't think of an actress outside of india obviously there's a bunch in india that that have this but outside of india 
There's musicians, maybe Taylor Swift, obviously that right. has an insane following. But Tom I'm Cruise, he's he's if he's I'm talking and, actresses. Yeah, Zendaya probably it would have more just because she's a, a a global figure now. Right. Um, but very few. She'd probably be in the top five actresses to have. Well, that's why she's on the cover of Time. Influence. Yeah, right? that's why she's on the cover of Time. And, and she's, I, she's right. India's taking over. I mean, if you just saw it was just announced today, Ali announced that she's the brand ambassador for Gucci. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, good for her. Now the brand. Ambassador oh, is that what that was for, on yeah. that post? I just thought it was great pictures that were done. I believe it was Gucci. Okay, it was brand good ambassador good for her for Gucci. I good believe. for her. Uh, it's just it, they just it keeps coming. And I love that. Because that would be one of our recommendations, and I'm not saying that as a pat on the back. I'm saying it as it makes me happy that we're on the same page as Topeka in regard to letting people know if you recommended a film you're in that you would like people outside of India to see, yeah. what would you like them to see? Topeka's a well, good choice. Now, there are great films that you could immediately, I mean, you could. there's a ton of them that I've loved. There's there's Tamasha, there's uh, uh, Ramlila, there's Padmavat, there's uh, Bajaramastani. Yeah. But... My favorite film, if someone said to me, what's your favorite film with Topeka where she flexes her thespianatic muscles? There was nothing more impressive than Piku. Nothing. For her to hold her own opposite Amitabh Bakchan and Irfan Khan that way in a beautiful story that is driven by relationships and dialogue, I, I, I wholeheartedly agree. I've always disagreed with you on that point. I've, thought, I've seen her thespianatic muscles way before you did. In what? I, oh. Badmavad. Oh, they're there. Ramlila, uh, like all the ones you mentioned. Well, they're there. I'm not saying they're not there. I'm saying that they're not demonstrated on a level that is. Yeah, that's where I disagree. I, I think that's she would be far more likely to be nominated for an Oscar for Piku than anything else that she's ever done. I don't think she'd be nominated for any of those other films, although she did solid performances. I don't know. Yeah, I disagree. Ah, yeah. uh, but yeah, this is. I. It could have been even longer. Obviously, oh my! I, I feel like it for sure. Be. I'm so excited for. And it's kind of crazy how our our, our trajectory has kind of lined up with how India is getting on the global. It's stage. really awesome. Um, not that I'm going to take all the credit, but I will. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sarcasm. <laughs> um, but like the fact that like now, hopefully, we're going to see. I would love this year to have five great films that we are struggling to figure out which one they should send to the Oscars. Absolutely. Right? Yes. Um, especially with like LGP film, Anurag's film. Yes. Uh, that, the, the Malayalam films. Yes. The, the Vikram film. Like there's so many of these films that uh, I, I would love for them to be so good that the world just needs to see them and Agreed. they're struggling. Agreed. And you're like, oh, yes, I wanted this option, but that's another great option I think could really make the final cut. And yep. I think we're getting there. I think we're getting there pretty quickly. I agree. Um, obviously, last year, it was more on the um, just the global um, fun scale of RRR yeah. uh, with with how that took over. Um, and maybe it'll happen again with, with the film this year. Who and my, my favorite thing about that, which was what we were hoping for the minute we saw RRR, is the fact that while it was an extremely beautiful entertainer at the top notches of entertainment, right? Yeah. A buddy story that for me is my favorite buddy story of all time now in, in cinematic history is RRR. Yeah. But there was an artistic level of excellence within that that we saw in Natu Natu where, remember when we saw it, said, it's one of the greatest musical numbers in cinematic history. That's up there with, I'm not kidding, that's up there with Singing in the Rain as far as you see it and you know when you're watching it. I will never forget this and I want everybody to see it. And yeah. in 50 years, I will never forget Natu Natu. How, what it meant and that level of it's very rare to find a film that's so commercially successful and an entertainer but also includes within it artistic excellence that's at the level that people at the academy who are looking to honor artistic excellence give a nod to it exactly. so it's so exciting fantastic uh do more of these yes uh congrats to to pick up and uh look at what's her next film is it Fighter? I don't know. Are they in production yet for uh, the sequel to uh, Patan? That would be with Tiger. But isn't I would anticipate she's going to be in, in that, that as well. She might be. If I were making the film, I'd want her in it. Because I'm pretty sure Tiger 3 that's coming out, I, I don't know if it's this year or next year, with Salman, his, his third of that. And how about one. Badminton? Yeah, I didn't even discuss that. She was a fucking professional badminton player? 
Why didn't anybody tell me that? How are we just finding this also, out? Also, they're professional badminton players. <laughs> <laughs> How are we just finding this out? I don't, I don't know, man. Uh, so yeah, five, oh Project K. But ja oh, she's in Jawan. Oh, but I think it's a smaller role. Okay. I don't think it's a, a massive role. Okay. But Project K, which is, I believe, a post apocalyptic. What's the hey? Post apocalyptic. What's the intern? I think it's the remake of the, uh, the the one with. Anne yeah, Hathaway. she's yeah. producing. I think it's the a remake of the one with Anne Hathaway. Big B. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I believe it's. Ah. Oh. It's that. Fantastic. Perfect. Uh -huh. Perfect casting to have it be her and, and Big B. Oh, that's exciting. Can't um, wait. I think I can... If you haven't seen that, that's a fun, I've cute... Oh, it's yeah. a cute, really well-done movie with a lot of heart. Very cute, well-done. It's Robert De Niro and Anne Hathaway. Um, and these that's exactly... If someone were to say to me, who would you cast in those roles? They'd be the first people that come to mind. Yeah. I'm excited. Anyways, let us know what you thought about this down below. Josh!